Hello everyone, welcome to our last but not least video of this series. We learned the details of engineering process up to now. We will see how to build and use PN driver in this video. Now it's time to dive into details of runtime. At the end, we will have a live demo with PN driver, KP8 and ET200 SP. Let's get started. I copied the PN driver package in my Debian PC. Let's navigate the PN drive folder and open a terminal. As the first step, we need to compile the PN driver as static library. Let's call the make command for the compilation. PN driver has been compiled and the static library was generated. Now we can compile the test application. Since we are going to use PN driver as IO controller in this application, I'm navigating to the IOC folder. We are going to use Linux native variant. Our test application has been compiled and binary has been created as test app. I copied the engineering XML that we created previously by using TIA portal. Let's run the application. I'm going to give our XML as input. After pressing 2, network interface selection options pops up. When I select the network interface, PN driver gives an error and says local port match must be lower than this. Let's change the local port range settings. After changing the local port range setting, we could select the network interface card without any error. I hope this tutorial series helps you have a better understanding of PN drivers and engineering systems. If you have further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us from the email below. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, welcome to our last but not least video of this series. We learned the details of engineering process up to now. We will see how to build and use PN driver in this video. Now it's time to dive into details of runtime. At the end, we will have a live demo with PN driver, KP8 and ET200 SP. Let's get started. Let's open the controller by pressing 5. By pressing 9, we can establish the application relation. As we see, we got the device return and AR was established successfully. We can check the logical address from TIA portal. Two hundred sixty-three belongs to KP8. Two hundred sixty-six belongs to ET two hundred SP. Let's check the logical addresses from PN driver menu. The output address of KP8 has been assigned to address 0. Let's write its AL data. I need to select 0 as base address. Address length is 4. I'm going to flash all of the LEDs. Data was written successfully. Let's change the IO data of ET200SP. I'm going to set all the outputs. Let's change the KP8's one of the buttons color to red. Now I will read the input from ET200SP. Since I connected ET200SP's first channel of the output to its first channel of the input physically, I will be able to read the channel value. Let's check the assigned logical addresses of ET200SP from PN driver menu to identify the addresses.
I will read the first channel. We could successfully read as one the channel value. I hope this tutorial series helps you have a better understanding of PN driver and engineering systems. If you have further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us from the email below. Thank you for watching.